What's up, y'all? Candy Girl here with my two cents on Kendrick Lamar and his little concert where he decided to do some kind of social justice protest about his own lyrics. But before I get into that, hello to all my first time viewers. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Also, comment, introduce yourself. I love talking to my people. Um, and if you have any other ideas for a video, let me know. But let's talk about the issue at hand today. Kendrick Lamar was in concert. He grabbed a white female, put her on a stage, I guess. I think I made that up, but that's what I think happened. Put her on the stage, gave her a microphone, let her sing along with him. Well, she said the N-word about 10 times. Um, and he stopped the song and was like, you know what? I, I love that you're singing here with me, but there's one word that you're going to need to bleep out. And she was like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. And then they resumed the song, and what I think I heard was her saying it again. He was like, you know what? It's over. It's done. I'm, I'm finished. Get off my stage. Now, people have a lot of different views on this, okay? But I personally, and I've made a video about this, I do not use the N-word unless I utterly have to. Because in the line of business that I'm in, sometimes I have to literally say what other racial slurs another person has said to correctly convey and paint the picture of, like, the whole scenario. But other than that, I ain't trying to use it. Um... And so, for me, I, I did that because I want to make it abundantly clear that that word is not a term of endearment to me. Um, it is something that is the last thing that a lot of murdered people of color um, heard before being hung, beaten to death, drowned, um, before they were raped. Um, all kinds of stuff. So I'm not trying to repeat that and I'm not trying to make that cool, you know, but to each its own, right? So Kendrick Lamar, like a lot of other rappers, have racial slurs laced throughout all of their lyrics ad nauseum at that. I mean, it just literally just makes me want to hurl now that I'm much more aware about how many racial slurs are in a song. And I don't think that it's right to normalize the use of that racial slur and then to expect other people to not normalize it with you. When you're the one that made the song, you're the one that's saying the N-word all the time, and you make it look cool, and they want to be a part of your culture too. You know, they want to be a part of this hip hop culture and, and integrate into that. And so they think that if I'm one of you and you're one of me and we're all the same race and this is just a, a fun word to use, then they don't really think that, hey, maybe I shouldn't be using this because it's still offensive to people, even if they use it. So I don't know. I just think that it's extremely misleading and hypocritical to use the N word and then expect other people not to even when you're encouraging them to sing the song that you wrote that has racial slurs in there. Um, I was in the Peace Corps for 15 months. And one thing that really, really like brought this whole revelation to me was that a lot of the people in that country I was visiting I was the first black person that they had ever really met in living color and the only other black folks that they had um, any kind of exposure to were rappers on TV and, and, and in the, on the radio. So their whole understanding was, and especially because they don't know much English, they're just thinking that the N word is just another word and it's cool to use. and. You can use it in a variety of contexts and in a lot of the songs that racial slurs are being used truth be told it is used in an aggressive demeaning way they're saying fuck you n word and da 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 and so these people saw me and they would say fuck you n word you know what i'm saying like they were really say that to me and I could tell that they were doing it aggressively and they thought that it was cool and that they were kind of like becoming part of the culture and that 
in doing that, they had to, you know, use our lingo and all this other stuff. But what they didn't realize is that shit will get your ass beat. Do not go to Detroit, Memphis, St. Louis, Compton, any of those places using those words. I promise you that'll be the last word that come out of your mouth. I promise you. Don't do it. So, I'm just thinking, like, Kendrick, I think that this moment has opened his eyes to the influence that he has on people and how his own music can be to the detriment of his people because that is not helping garner any type of respect or remorse for the past and respect for these people of color who think that it okay we can make this kind of differentiation between black people using it and white people using it i think a lot of times people who are not of color will look for any justification to act out in the way that they actually want to act out they truly do want to say the n-word a bunch of times that is liberating for them you know what i'm saying i'm not saying for all white folks but what i'm saying is for some people who are just so anxious and trigger happy on the n-word i think that they're looking to black people for justification for their wrongdoing so you putting it in a song is giving them that justification and it does not make it okay and so i think that kendrick is now realizing that but y'all go ahead and comment below. Do you think that Kendrick was right for stopping his own song or his own concert and saying, do not use racial slurs um, if you're white, but I can use it? What do you think? You tell me in the comments below. Until next time, you all love and blessings.